Good morning, Madam President, uh, morning. Commissioners, Fire Chief Crowley, City Attorney, LAFD Administration and guests. Uh, my name is Eric Scott, uh, Captain 2 Paramedic and proudly serving as your Public Information Officer. And today we're excited to highlight uh, an extraordinary incident that took place where uh, individual swift action that collectively came together uh, provided a life-saving effort and made it possible and successful. It was a remarkable display of some very quick thinking and teamwork, which were explained that brought 59-year-old uh, uh, Samir Haroon uh, to be saved from a sudden cardiac arrest that took place at a Costco in Northridge. Mm -hmm. So we'd of course like to ask our talented members to please join us, members from Fire Station 104, Captain 1 Sean Davis, Engineer Scott Whitehead, Firefighter Linda Garcia Rosales, Firefighter Kenneth Miller, Firefighter Paramedic Michael Rigner, Firefighter Paramedic Robert Ponce. Also, we have 911 dispatcher, firefighter paramedic Ching Lam, and a civilian with us, uh, AED rescuer Aldrin Isaac. Now, the incident took place on August 20th in uh, a hot day in the San Fernando Valley. Mr. Samir Haroon, he had drove to Northridge uh, Costco. He had parked near the tire center. He bent down to put some air in his tire, and he collapsed. Hmm. He went into a sudden cardiac arrest. And many are surprised to learn that in the United States alone, uh, approximately 1,000 sudden cardiac arrests take place every single day. Mm -hmm. But it's important to mention that the survival rate drops from 7 to 10 percent every single minute that patient goes without CPR or AED. So that chain of survival is so important. That's why these all are going to be recognized today, because it was because of their quick actions that saved Mr. Haroon's life. So, it started with a, a nearby uh, customer calling 911 to get everybody started quickly. Another nearby a customer jumped in and started CPR. Mm -hmm. But we guide those members with our, our 911 dispatchers as, as how to appropriately uh, provide CPR. And then additionally, we had a Costco employee that's here with us today, Aldrin Isaac. He swiftly and wisely went in and retrieved an AED, and he delivered a life-saving mm -hmm. shock to restore the patient's heart rhythm. And it's really these talented firefighters that are standing right here behind me that they arrived on scene in just two minutes, mm -hmm. which certainly helped the outcome. But they jumped into action, they took over patient care, they provided uh, advanced life support uh, to a patient that was clinically dead at that point. Uh, then as they quickly transported to the hospital, they were able to deliver two additional shocks and ultimately regain uh, that patient's pulse. Um, as you can imagine, Mr. Haroon, when he regained consciousness that night at the hospital, wanted to extend some profound thank yous to all of you for your efforts and what you provided, your quick, coordinated response that saved his life. He wanted to be here today. He's still medically recovering, so he wasn't able to. But uh, Firefighter Ortiz was able to track him down at his home, and we're able to create a short video of him saying thanks. And Captain Sanchez, if you'd be kind enough to play that. My name is Samir Haroon. After I collapsed, he started CPR. He was a customer, but he knew exactly what to do. A member of Costco as a supervisor rushed going back to the warehouse, got the defibrillator and shocked me. When he shocked me, all of a sudden I gasped air and start breathing. Paramedic arrive at that same time, very quick. I'm alive because those people really saved my life. A million thanks to those good Samaritan that who helped me to stay alive and the paramedic who transferred me to the nearest hospital emergency room I'm grateful that you guys exist. Otherwise, I wouldn't exist today. So this incident highlights the uh, importance of the life-saving efforts of early CPR, early AED training and defibrillation, <coughs> as well as the community involvement into these emergencies. And uh, certainly we commend the bystanders who intervened and jumped into action. 
Uh, we also definitely commend our talented LAFD firefighters and paramedics who perform life-saving work like this every single day. It's nice to have a successful outcome. And because of their dedication, Mr. Haroon has a second chance at life. So we'd like to just read one certificate here. In recognition and sincere gratitude for your heroic courage, diligent efforts, personal initiative, and expedient assistance which directly resulted in saving a man's life during a cardiac arrest emergency on August 18th, 2024, on Tampa Avenue in Northridge, the Los Angeles Fire Department commends you for your extraordinary life-saving efforts to a citizen of the City of Los Angeles, presented this fifth day of November 2024, Kristen M. Crowley, Fire Chief. All right, well, and if I could just take a moment as we're passing out the certificates. Um, if everybody just takes a look at all those individuals lined up on the wall, that's the chain of survival at its best. We see an individual jumping in who didn't have to jump in, grab the AED, somebody else called 911. Dispatchers gave the appropriate um, recommendations and guidance to allowing that individual to survive all the way up to our engine and our paramedics doing what they needed to do. We often don't have that opportunity and blessing to be able to see what we do and what the impacts are. So, uh, you know, please, I hope that even me seeing that, I'm just so very, very proud. Our members do this every single day, all day, all night. But to be able to see like, wow, that individual actually fundamentally is here because of this chain of survival right here. So we're really, really proud of you. That other piece, I know we've got some family members. If the family members who are here, could you please stand up so we can recognize you as well? Stand up and we'll recognize you. Thank you for, for showing up and, and uh, supporting these individuals here. But on behalf of the entire LEFD, we're super proud of Engine uh, 104s as well as the firefighter paramedics on the rescue uh, to our dispatchers all the way through. And when we talk about every second counts, every second counts. You see that individual's talking, coherent, has a life that he's gonna be able to live because everything fell into place. So thank you on behalf of the entire LAFD and the city of, uh, of LA where our people keep coming out and doing an amazing job. Super proud of all of you, congratulations. I'm just so happy we just took a brief moment to be able to recognize your hard work and keep up the, the amazing dedication and commitment. Super proud of you, thank you everybody.